Hello, in this video we will guide you on setting up an unofficial, free, and self-hosted WhatsApp HTTP API within a short span of time. Kindly note that this is not WhatsApp's official HTTP API. If you wish to access WhatsApp's official HTTP API, kindly visit the official WhatsApp website for further assistance. Let's jump right in. Let's go to waha.devlike.pro. You'll find all links in the video description, so go ahead and click on the first one and then click Get Started. We skip the introduction page with all features and click on Quick Start. Scroll down to the download image title and copy and paste the docker pull command to the terminal. It may take a while to download the image. Under the hood, it runs WhatsApp web version in the Chromium browser to prevent blocking from WhatsApp. When it's done, scroll down and copy the docker run command. When it shows you the WhatsApp HTTP API is running text, open localhost 3000, you'll see the Swagger interface, it's API documentation where you'll find all endpoints and can make requests from your browser to see how the API works. First, we need to start a new WhatsApp session. You need to do it because the project allows you to run many sessions in one container to save your resources, CPU, and memory. Click try it out and then execute. We use default session for a session name. You can see in the logs the default session has been started. Then scroll down to get slash API slash screenshot endpoint and click try it out and execute again. You'll see a QR code from WhatsApp. It also has been printed in logs. Now you need to open the original WhatsApp application on your mobile phone and scan the QR code there. Go to link devices, click link a device and scan the QR code. Let's check if everything works. Click execute in the screenshot endpoint one more time and you'll see the WhatsApp interface with your contacts. If you see it, you're ready to send the first message with HTTP API. Find the post request with slash API slash send text and click try it out. You'll see the request body with three fields. Chat ID where you send a message. Text the message that you send. Session will leave it as the default, so the only field that you have to change for now it's chat ID. Put a phone number in the international format 1 with plus at the start, but don't write plus at the start. Click execute, and you'll get the message immediately. Congratulations on successfully setting up a cost-free and self-hosted WhatsApp HTTP API. At this point, you have gained insight on how to send messages through the API, but not how to receive them. If you're eager to learn how to receive WhatsApp messages, feel free to go through the documentation provided in the description links, or subscribe to our channel for updates on the upcoming video guide. Thank you for tuning in. See you soon.